Are you guys ready for another round of Tomb Raider 1? Hit the like button if you want me to keep them coming. And now back to the action. So now that's all I have time for today though. So let's take a sneak peek of what we're gonna be doing next. First of all, let's be sure we get the best weapons out right away. Because the game always has a tendency of starting you with uh, your classic pistols. Which are uh, which are fine and they have unlimited ammo, but they are nothing to write home about, so... <laughs> Alright, now then. Let's start exploring. You can see there's various directions you can go. The pool has nothing. There's this direction, that one. And over here is where I'm gonna start this level. I kind of remember what's happening. This is one of those levels that you start to grasp exactly what Tomb Raider 1 was all about. Which is really exploring vast areas, trying to figure out how to go to the next one. This game does feature some unprecedented scale for that time, mind you, of course, not for today's standards. Alright, I can hear a monkey. There you are. And there is another monkey there, I can see it moving. Alright, let's see if that's the last of them, though. In the previous level, I think it was the first one we encountered lions. And uh, from now on, we're gonna be having a lot, a lot of uh, animal enemies. I think it was uh, somebody on my latest, uh, on my previous stream, or on my other channel maybe, called it like a uh, <laughs> survival or an animal simulator or something. And it's uh, <laughs> it's not far from the truth, let me tell you. There is a... Uh, a whole lot of animals in this one. Anyway, so now we need to get up there. Oh, jeez, let me... Okay, now I fixed my keyboard. We need to go up there. There's five levers that control stuff. And while I do remember some codes still, believe it or not, some combinations, to which, mind you, there is no clue. You have to find them on your own. Nowhere in this level tells you, yeah, this is the right combination. You just have to uh, trial and error through it. In any case, I remember some of them, but I don't think I'm going to remember all of them. <laughs> One or two, maybe. And that means I'm probably going to have to consult a guide or something. <coughs> Alright, so first let's make our way towards it. This might look like simple stuff, by the way, to most people, like, okay, she's running and jumping around pillars and stuff, but back then, trust me, this was the game that actually invented <laughs> those kinds of things. This was actually the first uh, true exploration game in my book. Sure, there were other 3D games, like, I don't know, what was popular at the time, Duke Nukem and stuff like that, but this was the game that actually spawned an entire genre. All right, so now remember that by pressing only the first one, some door opens, and I have no idea which one. <laughs> there are so many doors scattered across the level. Gonna have to uh, just explore and find out. So it seems not this one, not that one. So it's gotta be one of the doors on the left side of the screen. Let's go check that out. Alright, it's this door right here. Let's see which one it is. Oh, wow, it's the toughest one. Okay, <laughs> so I remember this puzzle. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to probably try this a few times, so... Uh, yeah, do not get mad at me, guys. <laughs> First things, let's save. Because I'm expecting, I don't know, a few tries until I get this right. 
Now what this happens here is that when I start running across this line, this dotted line here, the uh, fires will go off. They are on a timer, which means I have to run across them as fast as I can. And I cannot stop running, which is, uh, like, I don't know who designed this. This is almost impossible to do, but ah, here goes. Let's see. Oh, come on. That was so close. <laughs> All right, let's give it one more go. Actually, I'm kind of proud that I almost made it on my first try there. Like, I remember this took me quite a few tries. No, that was wrong. Let's do it again. I jumped too early. See, I recognize even in the first second when I've done something wrong. <laughs> See, the trick is to just slightly turn. Oh, man, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, in the second try, I'm proud. Okay, cool. And we get rewarded with the... Uh... Oh, that's an iron bar, isn't it? A lead bar, okay. So we are in Palace Midas, remember? Which means... If you know your, sto your history about Midas, everything he touched became gold, right? So those lead bars, I remember, we were able to turn them into gold, and that's gonna be necessary in order to uh, escape this level, this area. All right, seems like we've probably killed everybody. Let's save. There were some rats down there. I guess now let's uh, just dive in. Click, quickly go on the other side. There might be a few mice still, so let's not linger around. All, right, all in all, this went very smoothly. Oh boy, if my... Uh, if me today could see me from 20 years ago, I'd probably call my uh, 20 years ago self a noob. <laughs> it took me like, I don't know, a thousand tries to na nail that one when I was young. Oh man, I forgot to open the door. Okay, see? That's when my uh, 20, past 20, prior 20 years self would call me now a noob. Because there is a switch in there that opens this door and... Uh, it makes it so that you do not have to do this running ever again. Oh, a new ape. Where did he come from? Interesting. It's not like I opened a new door, so I must have gotten loose from some other place. make it cool <laughs> jump like that so now let's head down actually before we do anything else there is a lever there i remember yeah and this opens the door right to my left so we can return here whenever we need to all right now though i gotta remember the other codes it's not that easy. I think if I push the first and the last lever, it was. I'm trying to remember now. At some point, I'm definitely going to use a guide to show me. So let's see. Can I spot an open door? That one's closed. That one's as well. And see if one of the other doors opened. Or do I get nothing? Oh, is that door open? I think that door opened. Yeah, nice. So, I remember correctly after all. Wait, let's get the guns out. Uh, 
All right, before entering a door, it's always a good practice to save. Just in case something happens. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, of course there's a line here. Anybody else here, though? No, I think we're good. Also a good practice to save after each kill. Provided you successfully kill somebody without him injuring you. Oh, and that's the final room. All right, so uh, since we came here, I'm gonna let you take a gander. So what we need to open the final door, and I remember that's the level exit, it's we need three gold bars. Right now we have a lead bar, one lead bar, so we're gonna need to find two more lead bars and turn them into gold as well. By the way, how cool would it be if I could jump over this? <laughs> like if I could instantly... Oh no, there is no crack above it, is it? Yeah, I thought there was a crack, okay. Anyway, let's keep going higher see what we can find in here uh, so actually this room is only useful to end the level nothing else to find oh jeez yeah okay thankfully I didn't take too much fall damage there Alright, so in any case, now we need to try another combination or something. I'm kind of curious to see how many codes I can remember. Memory is not my strong suit. Like, really not. I'm the kind of guy that can re-watch movies every five years or so because he forgets them. <laughs> so you can kind of guess what happens to codes in my head. Alright, let's see if we can try another one. And now, what would it be... I remember something along the lines with, I don't know, up, down, up, and maybe the last two ones are up. I don't know, maybe I'm grasping at straws like right now. Alright, see, so I didn't get any door there, which means I probably didn't get that one either. No, alright, let's try a few more combinations and then I'm gonna resort to a guide. Maybe it was... This stays up. And this one's down. I wish there was a sound effect when something happens. Like anything to let you know that you got a door open. So you can keep trying without having to check. Man, can you imagine... Being the first guy who plays this game and having no guide. Oh, we got a door open there, nice. So that poor guy, the first guy who played this game, probably had to try every combination. And every time he had to uh, come back down here and check the doors or something. Man, that was a torture. <laughs> well, that's old school gaming for you, I guess. Alright, the room with the spikes. Oh, I remember this one. At first, when I was a child, I thought you had to uh, jump from one of these uh, black squares to the next one consecutively without falling to your death, without falling to the spikes. Boy, was I wrong. That's not what you need to do at all in this room. First of all, let's walk because that's the way you can uh, avoid damage by spikes. You have to go up here. Actually, what is this place? Let me quickly check this. Because this is a movable block, you can definitely tell. There must be a lever or something behind this. Because I remember these black blocks will uh, raise themselves. They will stick out. And then you can jump on them. There's the, the lever, nice. So that horrible sound effect was these uh, black blocks raising themselves in the air. 
so we can jump on them from high. All right, and there we are. Now you can see all these blocks lead to that exit over there, I think, on the left side. Okay, now let's take a step back, though. If I remember correctly, that's how you do this. Yeah. Indeed, it is. And now it's a simple matter of jumping from one to the next. Now, if I was a speedrunner... I'd probably do this in one go without ever taking a step back to jump onto the next pillar. But man, that's a scary thing to do with all those spikes down there. I'd rather be cautious than dead. <laughs> oh, and if I remember correctly, there is an enemy in this room, so... Let's see. Should probably take a step back... Get those guns out quickly. Now, the reason I went close to him, by the way, little tricks of the trade, I still remember that, is if I was, if I'd stay here, if I'd stay here and try and shoot him on the ledge, if he touches me, he will push me back, and obviously that would mean I'd fall onto these. That's why I went inside, so even though I was dangerously close dangerously close to him I wouldn't die now two lead bars all right we need one more one more to finish the game and that last one yeah it's gonna be uh, a difficult one because remember we've only explored one out of three um, locations in this game right so all the other locations are just for one lead bar all right, now let's fall down somewhere where there aren't any spikes. Like maybe here. All right, so I don't think there is a door left now that holds a bar. Although, did we open both of these? I don't think we did. We opened that one, we opened the other one. And this one, I think we didn't open that one. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep going though, because I, if I remember correctly, the lead bar isn't here anyway. So maybe I've missed the uh, secret room or something. But yeah, that's no big deal. We are in it for the crown, not for the secrets. <laughs> All right, so I think down there is the most useless place to go. So let's start with the uh, other places here. Now, there is a monkey room here. I remember that. And this room, I think, leads on to there. Let's go in quickly and kill some monkeys. Because I do not want to have to deal with them later. You can see there is one there who's glitching. Let's check my sex because sometimes they spawn behind me. Or at least I think. I think there's a... Uh, there's a nape there who's glitching currently, is it? See now he spawns, okay. I saw him flashing in and out of existence there, but... He didn't fully spawn, I guess. Let me quickly fix something. Alright, now let's go. By the way, another trick of the trade. In Tomb Raider, when you see these kinds of double doors, so one is here, and one's there, you know they're connected. 
and that's usually a trap. Not a trap in a traditional sense, but probably enemies or something ambushing you. I don't know what I'm still shooting, I'm just shooting right now. <laughs> Oh, he's still alive. All right, that is one persistent monkey. Anybody else coming? Why do I remember this area having lions? Oh, jeez. Wait. <laughs> Maybe there's a lion to come or something. Yeah, I'm kind of treading carefully now. Because I am anticipating a lion, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Let's see. Where does this place lead? Alright, there is a lever. <coughs> oh, and that door is in the last direction, the one we haven't been to yet. Oh, I can see an enemy glitching there. Can you see him? Through the wall. The shadow. <laughs> that means there's somebody there. Oh, come on. Didn't I see him for a bit? Alright, nice. Anybody else? <laughs> Man, I can hear monkeys. I cannot see them, though. This makes me so nervous. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably trapped outside. Hey, pastor. Welcome to the stream, man. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't pay attention to you when you first came in. I'm dealing with a whole lot of monkeys and lions right now. <laughs> it is a regular zoo in here. So, just to let you know where we're standing, we are in Palace Midas right now. We are trying to find three lead bars. We've acquired two, so we are missing one. After that, we need to make sure these lead bars turn to gold, because this is the Palace of Midas, after all. If you know your history, uh, Midas, he was a king, and everything he touched became gold. So, that's how we turned the lead bars to gold, presumably. And yeah, if we do that, we can escape the level. So right now we are in search of that final lead bar. Which actually doesn't mean we are very far into the level. It's just that the third lead bar, the final lead bar, takes a long time to find. Well, we just opened a door down here. So let's proceed and see what awaits. Well, as expected, a whole lot of monkeys. <laughs> Alright, I remember this. We have to go up there. It's interesting how, if you play this game for the first time, you might miss that. That there is a uh, an entrance up on the roof there. That's one thing I do not miss from old game design. Like, newer games make it really easy to spot where you need to go, so you will never ever get really frustrated about losing your direction. In these old games though, you had to actually try everything, like check every wall and stuff and be sure you haven't missed anything. And as I say that, Midas. Palace Midas and that's the statue of Midas. And that is his hand. That's the thing you gotta be afraid of. That's the thing that turns everything to gold. And uh, just to show you, let's have some fun. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna let you uh, see what happens. The first mistake every rookie makes in this level is uh, jumping around and accidentally jumping on that finger, on that hand. Not a good idea. <laughs> as it can turn you into gold as well.
Poor Lara. <laughs> she is worth a ton though now. <laughs> Maybe she's worth more dead than alive. In any case, let's load the game and not repeat that mistake. I don't know if that's an easter egg. I think it's... um. I think Pastor, it's just in the flow of the game because you need to turn lead bars into gold here. Right, so uh, I can put these on. And you can see she turns them into gold. Now we have one gold lead bar. Let's do that with the other one as well. So I guess some developer probably mentioned or suggested this in the flow of the uh, of this level. So why do not... What happens if Lara steps into that? And the only logical answer is, well, of course she dies. She becomes gold. <laughs> I've always loved that uh, <laughs> that bit there. I mean, whenever somebody else played and I watched him play, I said, Ooh, yeah, uh, go to the hand, let's see. <laughs> I knew what happened, of course, but I just wanted to piss them off a bit, <laughs> you know. All right, so now... Now we need to find the uh, last lead bar, though. And I think we actually missed where we need to go. I'm gonna go to the first area of the level. Again, the area that has five switches. And we need to find a co the correct combination to open the last remaining door there. I'm sure that one leads, ultimately, to the final lead bar. And that's the end of this episode then. If you enjoyed it, remember to press the like button to help my channel out. And definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. To watch the next one, you can find a playlist link in the description of this video. And if you want to receive a notification for every new episode, make sure to click the subscribe and bell buttons right below this video. Thanks again guys, see you in tomorrow's episode.